what is up will here and today i will be showing you how to make leader stats that save when a player rejoins the game and also how to make developer products that you can buy in a shop gui so let's get into the video okay so first things first you guys are going to want to go into service script service click on the little plus and add a script you're going to want to add two of the scripts one named leader stats here and one named save data so this is what is in the leader stats i have got my two leader stats values as coins and gems obviously you can add more if you want however i do not recommend going more than three four is a bit pushing it but five i'd say is a no-go so i'd say two is the best to stick with so maybe have a currency leader stats and then maybe a secondary currency or whatever you get when you click if you're doing some sort of simulator so we've got this here you can either copy off screen or if you want it will be the top comment in the comment section down below so you can also find it there then here in save data you can find this here again coins gems this will be the first reply to the other comment which will be pinned so you can find that there just copy and paste that into your save data by the way make sure to have capital s and capital d otherwise i don't think this will work so once you've got that down the leader stats will appear as you can see when i press play here so now we've got coins and gems obviously if you have the same coins and gems as your leader stats value but you want gems on the left rather than coins on the left just switch it round in your leader stats so here you can just switch these two parts around then the next thing we're going to want to do is make it so you can get coins and gems from the shop so we're going to start off with coins what we're going to want to do is obviously we're going to need to publish the game and one thing i just remembered is that this game needs to be published to have the leader stats save date working because you need to come into game settings come into security and you need to allow http requests and enable studio access to api services which then means it can save your data then once you have done that you can just come onto your game click on the three dots go into configure this game then developer products it comes up here click create new then get a name let's say i'm gonna name it just a bag of coins then let's just make this five robux select image i am just going to quickly select an image i will be back with you in a sec okay so guys i didn't actually have a coins image so i just put this fancy fedora because that costs lots of robux so yeah then it will come up with your id just copy and paste that Control c to copy it and then we're going to want to come into our scrolling frame coins add a local script and then you're going to want to copy and paste the third script that will be in the comments so basically the second reply to the pin comment okay so we've put it down here i've put id in brackets here so just delete the id and the brackets and put the id there okay so we've got our developer product id paste that there and also paste it there but what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to add a text button however since we made this invisible what we're going to want to do is just make it visible here and then this button is basically going to be where you want it okay so guys i decided i'm going to have a image button instead as when i do my shop duis i like to have image buttons because then i can make the image bigger and then it's also the biggest thing to click if you're going to get it then you can add text and stuff but what you're going to want to do is just add that local script into there then i'm just going to get some text labels so here i'm just going to measure it 
down here. And I'm just going to make it coloured. So give me a sec, guys. Okay, so guys, then what I like to do is I have the two text labels. The top one I usually like to have as the name of the item. So in this case, we're just going to put like a bag of coins. Enter. And then we're going to add our second text label here. We're going to measure it, maybe make it a little bit lower. Then I'm just going to color this as well. And then I'm just going to name this one to the price. So since it's five Robux, I'm going to put R and then a dollar sign space five. Because five Robux. Obviously, you can change it to how you want it to be. So then we've got this. And then we can add some more if we want it to give more value. All this one does is prompt the purchase which doesn't give you any leader stats value. So I will be doing that right now. Okay, then the next thing you're going to want to do is come to subscript service and insert another script. We are going to name this one, dev product handler. And then you're gonna want to copy and paste the fourth script, which will be the third reply to the pin comment. So here it's got the coins. If Let's say we were going to make it 15 gems instead. We would firstly put it in the gems thing. But then we just change these coins here to gems. And we can change the value through here. But then we've got ID here. So we just need to grab the ID. We can just get that back from the local script here. And now if let's say you were going to add another thing. Whether it's for gems or coins. So what I'm going to do right now. Is I'm going to make something for gems and show that it works for both of them as well. So I will be one sack. Okay, so guys, I've made a gems part here as well. So then what we're going to do is close this. We're going to come here and make it so it is not visible. And just make sure that the coins are not visible as well. And then make sure Game Pass is visible. As we want Game Pass to show up as soon as you open it so then we're just going to come to home and press play okay so guys one thing i forgot to do is add these two ends at the very end of the script so if you're going to add more developer products to that gui then make sure that you have put those two ends at the very end and you need to have this end in between every single one so we come here and we press play as you can see it changes between each one we can close it off open it back up and it will open to where we were before we come to coins click here it prompts you to purchase press buy now and look your coins have gone up by 15 as that is how much it will go up by so if you're making your own gui maybe you want to make it so it includes how many you will be getting for the leader stats value maybe if you're doing a multiplier maybe you can put how much it multiplies your click or something if you're doing a simulator but then the gems one work as well so we click on the image press buy now this one's 99 and then here we go up by 200 so guys if you found this video helpful or entertaining in any way then please leave a like and if you're new here or haven't already Maybe even subscribe. But until next time, bye guys.